Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about Thronebreaker title and more specifically about the second requirement and that is to have a rank 3 6 star and this video is going to be me trying my best to give everybody as good of an advice as I possibly can to help you guys decide who, what, why, how and when to rank for Thronebreaker title and uh, I'm making this video because I have been getting a lot of questions about whether this champion is worth it in order to unlock the title whether that champion is worth it and that is first comment I wanted to make that I do personally believe that it is extremely negative thing that is happening in the game right now and people are quote unquote being forced or rushed into becoming Thronebreaker and making suboptimal choices when it comes to their rank ups that they might regret for uh, some significant amount of time in the future. Obviously eventually once the game progresses it's not going to be a big deal just like it's not a big deal anymore to have a bad champion at a rank 4 as a 5 star or I don't know maxed out 4 star because the game moves on and eventually uh, your account does move past these points as well but it is going to take a while for that to happen. So I'm definitely still uh, not quite at peace for that to be a requirement to unlock a new progression level. Uh, that being said, in order to make suboptimal rank ups to have your first rank 3 6 star, and this video is specifically for first rank 3 6 star. Uh, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Obviously, when it comes to selecting specific six stars, you need to evaluate how good these champions are, how useful they will realistically be to you, what purpose they will serve, and how much they rely on their awakened ability. Because we have a plethora of champions who absolutely 100% demand to be awakened in order to be used properly and to their fullest and actually serve the purpose that they were created for. Right, so that being said, a uh, great example here would be Nick Fury. Nick Fury is uh, not a good rank up by any means unless he's awakened. But in order to unlock Thronebreaker title you have to have this rank 3, 6 star and I think that is going to be the first subcategory of champions that's unique for every player pretty much any player, um, but that is champions that you are 100% willing to invest an awakening gem into in the future with the side condition that you are prepared to explore abyss in not too distant future. That is one of the main kind of like conditions because theoretically you can rank any champion that you want up to rank 3, that you think is a great champion, even if they are unawakened, even if they desperately need that awakened ability, if you are prepared to invest the only generic 6 star awakening gem that currently we have available and the game guaranteed, and that is by exploring Abyss 100%. So, if you have, let's say, Mutant, and your only great Mutant is Omega Red, who absolutely has to be awakened in order to be a great champion, can take him to rank 3 under a condition that you are preparing to explore Abyss and under a condition that you are committed into investing that Awakening Gem into Omega Red. So that is kind of like one subset. You can literally rank anyone if you are determined, confident in your own ability and will go explore Abyss. Now obviously the second and the largest subgroup that everybody currently is looking for will be the champions that are good slash great and will have vast majority of their usability without having the access to their awakened ability. And in order to help with that, I will go through class by class like I did before. We're going to filter through the six stars and I'm going to give kind of like a couple of recommendations because there really aren't that many in vast majority of the classes maybe aside from like Mutant and Mystic because those classes are absolutely stacked. So we can start off with Science class and one of the bigger problems for Science Champions is that most of the great Science Champions that are available the 6 stars do absolutely demand to be awakened. And if you were to quote unquote rush 
and rank up and unduped six star rank three champion, which I still do not advise for. There really are only two options that I would kind of like give my seal of approval to. Number one, that would be Human Torch. I do think personally that Human Torch's awakened ability is uh, close to unnecessary. I hardly ever have had benefit from it, whether I use my 6 star or rank 5 5 star. I use the 6 star rank 2 unawakened Human Torch for entire abyss of legends clear and it really wasn't a bother, it really wasn't a problem. I just basically saved up his pre-fight for whenever I encountered Mephisto and that was that. So Human Torch is by far the best science champion at the moment in game to take to rank 3 unawakened in order to unlock Thronebreaker title. Now the second best champion I actually don't have as a 6 star myself, I think it's She-Hulk. She-Hulk's awakened ability doesn't really do all that much for her that would be necessary. She-Hulk is a fantastic champion, great slow option, fantastic damage ramp up, and in addition to all of that, uh, she has hardly any reliance to Awakened ability. The downside of not having her Awakened would be against Science Champions, where she cannot shrug off debuffs because she has an excellent Void matchup, an excellent matchup against Mr. Fantastic and some other champs. But uh, other than that, everything else is just kind of like need to have and really is quite inconsequential for most parts. So She-Hulk is also a good option to take to rank 3 Unawakened. Unfortunately, pretty much any other champion that would be deserving or good enough, in my opinion, to serve as a first rank 3 for any account, they all need Awakened abilities. So Science really, in my opinion, just have the two or wait or rank up that void or whoever you want if you are prepared to give void the generic after you explore abyss. Now with skill class, unfortunately there's absolutely none. There is no skill champion I think in game that I could honestly recommend taking to rank 3 as your first rank 3 6 star unawakened because there are only two great amazing insanely awesome champions. Both of them desperately need their awakened ability. And then when it comes to unawakened champions, there are obviously decently good skilled champions. Arguments can be made for Hit Monkey to go to rank 3 unawakened because he doesn't heavily rely on it. And if you are absolutely feeling that uh, you have a gun to your head and you need to make that rank up decision, then Hitmonkey could be an option. In addition to that, Elsa Bloodstone could be an option if you really do think you will get a lot of benefit from having that Elsa. Uh, because Awakened abilities for these champions do help, but they're not absolutely mandatory. Then if you are a big fan of Black Widow, the, the Origins or Ronin, then perhaps those two champions as well. But when it comes to everybody else that would be worth taking to rank 3 in skill class, and there aren't really many skill classes, in my opinion, the kind of like poorest class in the game at the moment. Rest of them definitely need to be awakened to be quote unquote worth it. Uh, now we're gonna move on to mutant class, and mutant class is definitely the one where you can potentially be spoiled for choices. We can see I myself have a rank 3 undupe domino. On a personal level, I wish I didn't do that rank up, <laughs> especially after all of the apocalypses have come out and all of this mutant boost how come. I would rather take a duped cable at rank 3, I think, at the moment, than a domino. Or I would definitely rather take Emma Frost, which is the choice that I was torn in between initially. And I regret not going with unduped Emma, because I love that girl and she's so important for Colossus Synergy. But um, anyways, when it goes to unawakened mutant champions uh, that uh, do not necessarily need that awakened ability, would definitely be Magneto. He does benefit quite significantly, but he will still be able to achieve a lot, even unduped, for what you mainly want to use him. Emma Frost can definitely perform greatly unduped. In fact, I actually kind of prefer Emma unduped for most part, because against harder hitting opponents, you go into diamond form when you really don't want to sometimes, if you have a quite high sig. Havoc is another champion that, in my opinion, can easily be taken up as your first rank 3 if you want to rush that rank up. 
unduped because effectively his abilities don't change, only the speed you're able to execute the fight does. And then we have Apocalypse, who would be quite safe and solid uh, option for a rank 3, because in actual fight his awakened ability does absolutely nothing, you would lose out on some region in between the fights where you're not using Apocalypse. Uh, if need be, there is Professor X and the Storm Pyramid X, whom both of them do not really need that awakened ability. And obviously then we have Domino as well. So mutants definitely have a lot of options. And <clears throat> if your first tier 5 class catalyst that's ready is in mutant class, you're quite in luck, I would say. And then we're going to have Cosmic Champions. And when it comes to taking up Cosmics Unduped, then it's still pretty much the same ones you would want to take up Duped regardless. So it's Corus Glaive, still a fantastic option to take the rank 3, even if he's Unduped. Uh, so is Captain Marvel movie version. And so is likely going to be the Cosmic Ghost Rider, who also would work as a valid, solid option, even Unduped. In tech class, we again maintain quite similar to the best options overall. We have Warlock, who doesn't really need that awakened ability. It's more or less kind of like a nice to have option. Ghost, who is still a fantastic champion, unduped. And then as like your third potential option, which is significantly a step down, uh, is perhaps a Hulkbuster, because Hulkbuster still maintains pretty much all of his utility, even unduped. Or if your push comes to shove, then you also have Guillotine 2099 who really does need her awakened ability a, and is a solid option to take up. And a low-key, great option, in my opinion, under the circumstances, could also be Nebula. I think Nebula is an extremely underrated champion, and I think she could potentially have her ability to shine in the game if you have her ranked up as highly as possible. And if you are running her with like Guillotine 2099 and Proxima Synergy, then she can turn into a questing beast. Uh, but yeah, those would be the tech options for the most part, in my opinion. And Mystic class, again, if you have a Mystic tier 5 class catalyst, then you're quite spoiled for choice to take up a Mystic champion, even unduped. And those would be the Doctor Doom, the Black Widow Claire Voyant. Uh, most of the Mystic champions don't really rely on that awakened ability. So you have Doom, you have Claire, you'd have Sorcerer Supreme, very good option, unduped. You have Dragon Man, you have Sasquatch, where is that Sasquatch? I don't have him in 6 times. There we go. All of those are still very great options. If push comes to show, perhaps long shot, but I wouldn't recommend that too much. And perhaps uh, Symbiote Supreme, because he really doesn't need that awakening ability that much. So those are the champions that I would kind of like consent to when somebody is asking me is that a good idea to take these champions unduped to rank 3 in order to get Thronebreaker these would be the ones that I could say like it's not ideal but you can live with that choice with that option uh, the one that I would kind of like consent to personally myself so again we have had two groups so far right we have had the champions that you can commit in giving an awakening gem or a generic awakening gem as soon as you earn it and quote if you plan on earning these gems in near future then we have good slash great slash best possible options that do not necessarily need awakening ability even those might not be ideal rank ups and i effectively pretty much gave all of the ones that i would personally consider taking to rank 3 as my first rank 3 6 star and duped but here's the main thing, and the biggest thing that I do want to empathize on is that currently, right now, there isn't too much incentive to get that Throne Record title. The way things are, only actual benefit from being Throne Breaker is the daily login crystals. The daily login crystals can be good, can be quite juicy, but I don't think they quite warrant somebody making a poor decision or less than optimal decision chasing them right now. I think the make or break point for Thronebreaker title is going to be the Cyber Monday. 
And I think that if you are itching to pull that trigger to become Thronebreaker, by far the best course of action, if you do not have a clear cut, clear cut, quote unquote, best option or a good option to rank, is just to wait till Cyber Weekend and see what happens just before then. See what happens at end of November, then evaluate your options and then evaluate how badly you need that Thronebreaker title at that given point. That is obviously sub subject to change because Kabam might announce some other offers, rewards or events that specifically elevate, elevate the necessity of the Thronebreaker title. But currently, right now, unless, again, you are 100% confident, for instance, that you all are already running Abyss and you have that Nick Fury and you will put that generic Awakening Gem into Nick Fury, no regrets, no matter what happens, for instance, then I would not make that decision right now. I would wait, I would patiently outweigh my options. I would try and obviously get to open as many six star crystals as I can. And I would wait up until the time where it actually matters, past the point of these daily crystals, because they are good, but they're still not worth in making a poor decision that you're gonna have to be forced to live with for a significant amount of time in future. That being said, I hope this video has been useful to you. I hope uh, I have helped at least some of you answer questions of what you should do with your own account. And before I finish this video off, I just wanted to say that I am currently trying my best to push my channel to 30,000 subscribers. Uh, and at 30,000 subscribers, I will definitely do a four star Colossus Labyrinth of Legends run. I will try and sort out perhaps some giveaway or something else uh, in addition to all of that, but that is still subject to change. I'm gonna try and organize something, but it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could share these videos, suggest your alliance mates to subscribe and help me get to my goal of 30,000 subscribers because it's long coming. And I'm really, really excited to get there. And I would definitely appreciate uh, your help in getting there. All that being said, uh, again, I hope you guys found today's video useful. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.